Let's now talk about drowning in the second part of emergencies in first aid. Drowning is a result of complete immersion of the nose and mouth in water or any other liquid. Water is going to be able to enter the windpipe and go to the lungs. And that is going to cause closing uh, of the lungs. Okay. Or it will be able to close the lungs completely or cover the lungs or fill the lungs. Most drownings are going to occur within the reach of safety. So rescue is therefore possible even if the first aider is unable to swim. A swimming rescue should only be attempted by someone trained in life saving. So where you need to save someone that is drowned but then you can't swim, never do it unless you have been trained in life saving. How do you manage drowning? So the aim of first aid is to make sure that you drain out water or other matter from the lungs and to give artificial respiration it can include mouth to mouth or mouth to nose. And you need to make sure that you act quickly. Remove any seed weeds and mud from the nose. Okay. And also make sure that you start artificial ventilation immediately. If there is need for a mouth to mouth, start immediately. This is possible even when the casualty is in water. You need to turn the victim face down with head to one side and arms stretched beyond his head. Infants or children could be held upright downwards for a short period. So this is all in an attempt to remove water. So what are you doing? Turn the victim face down. So the face faces down with hands to one side and arms stretched beyond his head. So the arms are beyond the head. Person is facing down so that you now start removing water like that. And then you are going to raise the middle part of the body with your hand around the belly. This is to cause water to drain out. So what you are doing is remember someone has slept, uh, I mean is lying down, they are facing, their face is facing down. And then now you raise the part of the abdomen. You pass your two hands, hope you can imagine what I'm saying. You pass your two hands on the middle part of the body so that you can drain away the water from the lungs. Okay, this is how you are going to do for a child. But for an adult, you will not be able to do this. So they will be lying down and then you just raise the middle part of their body to drain away the water. You need to be able to give artificial respiration until breathing comes back to normal. This might have to go on for as long as two hours. Imagine two hours. So you don't need to give up until someone can start breathing. Remove the wet clothing, keep the body warm and also you can cover the person with blankets. Okay. When the victim becomes conscious, give them some hot fizzy coffee or some tea. Do not allow the victims to sit up. They might just fall off again like that. After doing the above, make sure that you move the patient to the uh, hospital or a nearby clinic on a stretcher case. If you see a victim in water which is out of your depth, Attempt to rescue the victim without entering the water yourself. Make sure that you reach him with your hand or foot to, uh, while keeping a firm uh, grasp on hand. So if the victim is much away from you, you can get a long pole or a stick to be able to pull them away. You, you use that stick so that they can hold and then you are pulling them. If you are not qualified in life saving and cannot reach the victim with the above measures, Throw him something which floats and he can cling to it. For example, a plank of wood, a rubber ring or something like that. In all situations, make sure that you call for help. So once the victim has been moved out of the water, you apply the ABC. See, Z, make sure that the airway is okay, the person is breathing, saturation is okay. If it's not, make sure you do something. If the victim is unconscious, turn him onto his back and check that his airway is clear. If it is not clear, make sure that you clear any debris from the mouth. Anything that entered his mouth can be the weeds or something like that, remove them. 
and then perform mouth to mouth resuscitation or you can also perform a cardiac massage where you are compressing the chest like that if this situation keeps uh, in this situation we are describing make sure that you keep the mouth to mouth up until a doctor arrives or until the victim starts to breathe by themselves the victim is not breathing make sure that you continue to do it until the doctor arrives or until they start when the victim begins to breathe spontaneously make sure that you press him in a semi recumbent position and get him to the hospital as quickly as possible semi recumbent position is where you press someone more like they are sleeping their face is facing down but one leg is not straight it's on the sides and then the hands are also more okay the more like you are sleeping on your hands your head is lying on your hands and then one leg is not straight like that i'm going to be able to show a picture in the next class so this is where we're going to end on drowning in the next class we'll be able to talk about poisoning and how you can handle it